Hey guys, uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about today was um, what decentralization can mean for unlocking use cases we haven't thought about before and um, what a decent, how Palantir could play into decentralized data exchanges. So I was reading this thing about um, SaaS metrics um, uh, that Chris Pratt sent me uh, on from David Sachs and because I was doing research on sort of how he analyzes TAM growth uh, for B to B companies. And they go through a whole financial model in here uh, that they build up, you know, and all their analysts use to uh, act as a sorting mechanism for things they're gonna invest into, right? Well, at the bottom he says here, you know, if if you send us the metrics already formatted in SAS grid, you know, they can tell you whether they're interested within one business day. And this is actually really important for analysts, in my opinion, who who work at these companies because they need to find the next diamond in the rough, but that's difficult to do. And the data is tough to exchange, you know, like in the sense that like businesses that are in, that are privately held don't just like to throw out their financial data to everyone. Um, so how could you do this in a way in which you don't need to exchange the data, but still guarantee to David Sachs and his team of analysts that you're a match, right? Ooh, this is interesting. So um, I did a quick diagram if anyone wants to build this, go for it. Uh, you know, just I, I could uh, give you some hints on how you could put it together. But so we do a DeFi exchange here. Or, or, sorry, a decentralized exchange here. We build it with Palantir. We take advantage of a Palantir, Palantir's Apollo agents that we can code out to deploy to anyone who signs up for the service. This agent is software that's engineered by the, the maker of this exchange in, Pal in Foundry. But we can guarantee through Apollo that it's running out here on the edge, which is the client's device, right? And in there, this agent is designed to suck in the software that this agent is deploying. is designed to suck in financial data from any major financial software that you use. It encrypts the data, right, using this technique called homomorphic encryption. What is homomorphic encryption? This is a really cool project that Microsoft is working on, uh, or an implementation using Microsoft Seal. What it allows is for cloud services to perform computations while protecting the customer's data, right? And so you, the data doesn't, you can still do science on it without needing to know what the data means, right? And so what you can do with this is then run it through Foundry with all of the models you've built for each VC that will work with the encrypted form of the data, send the results back to the client through this PubSub notification system, when the client gets the results back, it will decrypt the results, and then the software we've written will go ahead and figure out which VCs this person is a match for, and then notify through this PubSub communication channel an analyst or analysts on the other side. This is a way in which you can do really cool exchanges of information without ever having to give away sensitive data using a decentralized data exchange powered by Foundry. This is what I keep talking about when I, th when I say they're the next Microsoft. Like This is the value that people are gonna build on top of Foundry that no one has thought of yet, right? And so um, this is a really cool idea. You know, If you're in this finance industry, maybe you wanna build this, I don't know. But I highly recommend you use Foundry to do it. Uh, anyway, hope you guys like this.